and it's got nice, good stability, and if somebody yells stop, I should be able to stop. Stop. All right, guys, welcome. Uh, so obviously today we're gonna go through um, handstands and handstand walks. Um, I've got everything that we're gonna cover up behind me. Um, but before we get into that, I know it's a little bit cold today, so we're gonna try and get warm, right? Anyone ever heard of something called the Swedish warm-up? Swedish warm-up is super simple. Um, you're gonna start on all fours on the ground. When I say set, you're gonna raise your knees two inches off the ground. Uh, from there, when I say go, you're gonna run all four limbs as fast as you can until I say stop, right? We're gonna go 10 seconds on, five seconds rest for one minute, and then I guarantee you guys will be warm. Ready and go. Run all four limbs as fast as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest, that's our first one. Breathe, three, two, get ready, set, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, quickly, three, Two, one, freeze. Three, two, one, and rest. Yeah, so Swedish warm up, one minute. Everyone feel some blood flow? Yes. Yeah, I can already hear you breathing, it takes 60 seconds. First, let's uh, talk a little bit about the handstand um, and like why we do them. Obviously the handstand comes from gymnastics. They do it better than anyone else on the planet. They move their bodies better than anyone else on the planet. Obviously it all has all that balance, that stability, the proprioception between your brain and your muscles. But then on top of all that stuff, it's just really fun and it looks really cool. And like at the end of the day, people want to be able to bust out a really cool party trick, right? And unless you want to learn the skill to hit like a back tuck, um, and try and do that at a party, a handstand's kind of like your next bet, right? This, oh shit, uh, right, let me get it. Can we cut and start this again? Ah, uh, didn't get it, no, no, don't clap, that was terrible. So we'll learn how to handstand, and then we'll learn how to handstand walk, and that's when it gets real fun. First, we're gonna go into our movement prep, so we're gonna start at the top, hands together, guys and a little bit of a wrist roll. Turn those wrists inside out. Cool. Arms out the side, elbow rolls. And opposites. Here comes the coordination. And you're all gonna be on camera as well, so better nail it. Good, elbows high, go through washing machine, open out your upper back, your thoracic. Bring them in to be shoulder width, so not outside your shoulders, place your hands on the ground. We're gonna rock forward into our fingertips and then rock back into the hip and the groin, right? And we're just gonna hang out here for about 30 seconds. Try keep your spine straight and we're just rocking back and forth in those two positions. Keep your legs straight. Nice. And relax for me, guys. Okay, from here, walk it in slowly. Awesome. Whew. And then tiptoe the toes in, the butt goes up into the air. You're gonna tweak out and hold that hamstring stretch right at the top. And walk all the way into each other. And then relax and turn around and go back to the start. Please don't cramp. Good, and then spinning you go all the way back. Try and not progress past the step that we're on until I say so, because if you progress too fast, you might fall over and then land on your back. There is a small element of risk when we do handstands, um, like, like learning anything new. So if we get to that risky stage, that's when we want to get myself or someone else as a spotter. And down here on the track, I'm going to teach you guys how to spot as well, which is really important. When we do a handstand, we want to think, just like if you're standing up all day long, you'd want to have your feet underneath your hips. When you squat, you place your feet outside your hips, right? That allows, when you squat down, it allows space for your hip to move through. So with a handstand, a really common fault is people go too wide and they think like handstand push-up. We wanna stack our hand underneath our shoulders. Get that body nice and tight and in line. So when you do kick upside down, everything is stacked. Any broken, any arch back, bent knees, bent elbows makes it extremely hard 
and you won't be able to last very long upside down. Let's learn how to balance with our fingertips by learning how to balance with our toes, and this is the secret that nobody teaches you. Hands by your side, feet under your hips, toes face forward, right? Think of the toes as the fingers of the feet or the fingers of the toes of the hands, right? In this position, squeeze your butt, brace your tummy. I want you to lean forward slightly, feel how your toes dig in, and then they push you back, right? Now, in that same position, keep everything tight, lean back onto your heels, and you've got nothing, and you immediately step back, or you have to arch and fold your body. The fingers balance just like our toes. If you put too much pressure in your palm, you're gonna fall back down the same side. With your hands, if you can see, between each little finger, you wanna make tiny little arches. When you lean into it, you can see the tips of my fingers turn white, well, they're already white, but really white, right? That is what pushes you back to balance. So you need to create a really aggressive little fingers and grab that rubber. I, th I like to think about like gripping the floor. So that's what you wanna think about when you're kicking upside down. Now we're gonna learn how to get upside down, right? So with your hands, guys, place your hands straight out in front. You're gonna shrug forward through your upper back, so your upper back will be nice and round just like that. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Pretend you're already gripping the floor. Tuck your tummy in, squeeze your butt. So that's your start position. From there, you're gonna take a big step forward, right? Fold at the hip, place your hands on the ground, look at those little arches and hold. Lean forward into your wrists, raise the back leg off the ground and hold. And hold that position. The back leg should be nice and straight. Lift that leg high and squeeze your butt in that position. Lunge, hands, raise the back leg and hold. See how I'm leaning weight into my hands already. That's the position we wanna to get to. So arms up, set, lunge, hands, raise, hold. Grip the ground, it's gonna pull the leg that's on the ground about 12 inches off the floor, right? So like one ruler. I don't want you to go any higher than that. The drill should look like this. Oh, sorry. Set, lunge, hands, kick. Back down to the start position. Set, lunge, hands, kick. Reset. Nice. Right, so it should look like this. Lunge, hands, kick, and back down. See how there looks like a little stool on the hands? Arms up, set, lunge, hands, kick. And back down, good. Try that again. Arms up and hold, rib cage down, squeeze your butt. Lunge, hands, kick. Beautiful, hands, kick. Good, cool. <laughs> now that foot goes all the way up, that lead leg, the second leg, this is where it gets fun, is gonna come up, touch it, and then beat it back to the ground. What I don't wanna see is it coming up and then it crossing over with the other. So it's lunge, hands, kick, tap, down, set. Lunge, hands, kick, tap, and beat it. Good. Shrug forward, rib cage down. Lunge, hands, kick, squeeze. So if she just puts her arms up and she just goes for the lunge stage, so lunge, so cool. I know her left leg is her lead leg and I'm already standing on the correct side. If you're on the wrong side, you need to swap with them. I know her hands are there. This is where I wanna stagger my feet because I can balance either side. Lunge, hands, kick. Now I'm spotting from the thigh side of the knee. If I spot from here, you won't have control. We go to thigh side of the kneecap, squeeze the legs together. Good, suck the tummy in and then you can kind of let them balance depending on their ability, right? And then back down, lead leg, cool. And back to the start. Make sense? So I know I need to stand here. I want you to show me what, what you've got first. I'm not gonna spot you. Lunge, hands, kick. Cool, okay. Reset, that was actually pretty good, oh, right? Was actually a good one. <laughs> that was a really good one. Kick, feet together, feet together, squeeze, 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 gets tall and stacked. Squeeze your, feet, uh, squeeze your legs together, squeeze your bum. Get nice and tall. Notice the position I am as a spotter, right? I'm in a nice, nice athletic stance. I can balance her and down. Cool, and you control back to the finish. Nobody should go all the way up and over. Thumbs up, graceful lunge, 
Kick. Yes. Perfect control. Way better, eh? Yeah. Cool. So get your butt off the wall. Only your heels. Yeah. Ooh, good. Lock out your arms. And rest, guys. Kick it down. Good. With the handstand, obviously, you want to be pinned straight. Uh, one of the drills I love to use is the fingertips. We're going to have a, have a wee competition to see who can get it closest to the wall. That does, when you get that close, any mistakes when you kick up. If you kick up too strong, you'll hit the wall and fall off. If you kick up and arch your back, your butt hits the wall, you fall off. Everything has to be really perfect. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's try and get it, eh? Oh, no, 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 no. Cool, okay, I cheated a little bit. Did you guys see me catch here and then I pressed, yeah. I knew, I knew I was gonna fail it, so I kind of cheated it just for the camera. But. Okay, <laughs> one more. Lunge, hands, kick. Oh. <laughs> Too much. We're gonna kick into a handstand. We'll go boys first, girls second, right? The aim of the game is to be as quiet as you can. When you kick up, oh, the Americans are gonna fail at this one, eh? Um, when you kick up and do a handstand, I don't want to hear your hands hit the ground. When you come back down, I don't want to hear your feet hit the ground, right? It should be as quiet as you can. Again, let's see if I can hit it. And you've got to give an honest attempt. Oh, too much sound on that front foot. Lunge, hands, kick. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty loud. <laughs> Lunge, hands, kick. Oh, some heavy feet in there, eh? When our hands don't quite work the same as our ankle joint works when we walk, so we need to make an adjustment to our wrist. So from here, we're gonna turn our hands out, right? Then when we walk, the elbow, because it, the knee goes that way, but the elbow goes that way, it needs to, it doesn't quite work either. Uh, so you don't walk through your elbows, you walk through your... <laughs> so you kick into your handstand, and then you begin to walk, Right, and that is your handstand walk. Yeah, you turn around and come back. Cool. <sighs> right? That's what we're going to try to learn. Turn your feet out. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your tummy. Right? And you're going to rock side to side. And you feel how your toes dig in. And then you're going to waddle. Right? I like to call these TikToks. I've been, like I've been teaching that since before the app existed. So we go side to side and that's your penguin walk. So the steps to kick into, or to begin a handstand walk, start exactly the same as a handstand. Your hands go straight and then you're going to turn. One, two, come back down. Four times. <laughs> awesome, cool. Right, so then eventually if I do it nicely, it's kick, turn, and it's got nice, good stability. And if somebody yells stop, I should be able to stop. Turn, jump, walk. Push up, push up, push up, watch for the camera. Oh! <laughs> I want to play that off like I do that all the time. Kick, where you go. Hey, hey, he didn't land on his back. <laughs> Damn, where did that come from? Tom, dude, four meters. Oh, five meters, just got beat by Batty. Oh, yeah, girl, nice. Um, how's everybody's wrists? Pretty sore. Okay, so the, the wrist works similar to the ankles, right? Um, it's still got like lots of little bones, lots of moving parts. We spend our whole lives walking on our feet, right? So it takes a long time for your wrist to get strong. One, uh, one really good option you can play with is uh, dumbbells, right? So this puts your, your wrist into a neutral position, so you're not having to crank it on the ground. Right, and then you do your exact same drill, so you take it to the wall, and then you can kick and do a handstand on the dumbbell. It takes a little bit more wrist control, 
but it does take the pressure off the wrist. But if you put them on the wall, you'll be able to feel that out. Uh, but that's a good option if your wrists get really sore, which they will. Uh, before we go, let's try and get a photo with everybody in a handstand on that wall. Set, go. Everyone get up, everyone get up. Everyone get up, we're waiting, we're waiting. We got two more, get upside down. Hold, we got one more. We're waiting on one. <laughs>